is Dr. Adrian Stewart. Now, I hope none of you get ill by looking at me because I have no makeup on, which I hardly ever, not even my own children, see me without makeup on. I, I love my makeup and it makes me feel better. Um, I know if the makeup police were out there right now, they would be arresting me for indecent exposure. However, we're going to start off. I, I do. gave me for Christmas I think it's nice and silky but since when I wake up my eyebrows are like this so first of all I do like a mini eyebrow lift where I kind of lift them up like that and it really makes your eyes look better um, then I actually like to put my um, eye the lash grower on in the morning um, mostly put on at night but I do the morning I usually use Apple lash or Latisse and this one's nice because it has like a nice little brush that goes with it. And I actually like to start from the outside in because um, I want the most on the outside of my lashes. I want the lashes out there more fluttery. Um, and then when you blink, you get on your lower eyelashes. And then the rest that's on here, I do my lateral brow because we all lose our brows laterally on the outside here as we get older. And I do a second one for the other side. And then I start off with a growth factor. Now growth factors are usually used at night. I use this one in the morning. I like it because it's one step. It's called Root of Skin. It's a great um, easy serum to put on, just one step. Another one that I like for nighttime is Definage. That's a two-step one. I'm usually running late in the morning. I usually put up, I do put around my eyes, on my forehead, and I bring it down on my neck as well. Follow up with usually a serum. Um, or a gel. Sante has this one called Dermal uh, Contour Press Serum. It helps firmness and has some other active things that it does as well. It's really nice. It increases um, volume, elasticity, and firmness. And so I put that on again, kind of upward motion all over like that. If I have any extra, I'll put it on my hands. Um, and that's really nice. If I'm doing a procedure in the near future, I may decide to do a lasting nectar because that has been shown to help, um, and it does, I know because I use it, um, it speeds up after a uh, procedure such as Fraxel or a micro pen or a micronized uh, radio frequency micro pen. So I like using that as well. Then I do put a little eye cream. The Sante one is a very nice one as well. So I kind of put that on my fingertip. And I did wash my hands before I started touching my face, by the way, I didn't have that on film. And I just put a little bit, and this finger here, the ring finger is actually has a lot of uh, padding on it. So it's a nice uh, finger to use to put your eye area on. Because the eye area is a very thin area. And um, so it's kind of a nice pad to use. Now, the next step that I would do um, is um, a moisturizer if I was dry. And so I like different moisturizers. I don't feel like I'm dry today, so I'm not gonna put one on, but you can put one on. And then I like a, a vitamin C. And I, I like both the Revision Vitamin C. It's a lotion if you prefer a lotion. And then I like this Vitamin C Flavo C Ultra Glycan by Isden. It's very nice. It, what's great about it too is it comes in these um, individual uh, little ampules. And ampules are really big in Europe. Um, the ampules, you get a whole uh, box of them. And this same ampule will last you about a couple of days. And so you have to break it first. For some people, this is a little scary, but you break it. And then we give our patients a little uh, container to pour it into, and then they can have their little individual vitamin C container. But for right now, I'm just gonna pour it. And again, I'm gonna put this on. Some people put this on first. I actually like it on top of things. Um, it's kind of a, a thicker oil. And, um, and I am prone to rosacea. As you can see, I'm turning red just by touching my face. Um, Finally, before I put my sunblock on, I am going to put a uh, advanced defense booster by um, Underskin that I like, and we'll get a little bit here on that. And that actually can be a moisturizer. I said I wasn't going to put one on, but this is kind of instead of a moisturizer. Then I'm going to put my sunblock on, which is one of the most important things. If I was going to do one thing, it'd be the sunblock. And the sunblock, there's several that I that I love. The Ultra brand is very good. 46 is very good if you tend to break out or have rosacea or acne, and it's very light. And our men love the clear one, not so much the tinted one, but anyway, it's a great uh, all-purpose sunblock. The IntelliShade is also very good. It kind of matches your color, and I love that as well. But the one that I really like because um, it's actually also anti-aging is uh, the Isden Aeroflotina Ageless. And I do like the tinted version because the tinted one has the antioxidants in it. So I, you shake it up first, and really you could just use this and not have to put makeup on because it does have a nice tint to it. And some of my even ruddy male patients, including my husband, <laughs> 
uses this and um, it really tones down his skin a little bit. Now, of course, my skin's gonna be a little bit red because um, I'm touching it, um, but that will go down. Finally, I do like um, some makeup that is uh, good for your skin. I love uh, Oxygenetics. Uh, you can use this post a lot of procedures and it comes in all different shades. Um, this is great, it's healing. I just use a very small amount. You'll see how small in a second, if any comes out. Of course, for television, these videotapes, things don't work with this, just a small amount. Color, and then I add Even Up, and Even Up is made by Color Science, and it's great for our melasma patients. It actually has something to cool down the skin and the heat can activate uh, melasma. So I just use a little bit of that, and again, I'm gonna just rub it in together. Again, I like to do upward movement, movements because we all wanna be lifted, right? And you get that all over. Um. And then finally, um, I have an eye that uh, Color Signs makes. It has uh, it's a three in one, it's anti aging, it has SPF in it as well. Um, and it uh, again has a little applicator that kind of helps with um, you know, any swelling you may have or whatever. Now sometimes I would do this part step perhaps after I put my eye makeup on, um, but that's about it. I know that was a little uh, fast and everything, um, but it's usually uh, pretty easy like that. And then I can go ahead and put a little rouge on to give a little color back to my skin and the eye makeup, of course. Um, otherwise I do look dead. So I don't want to forget about my neck. So neck is important as you get older. Um, I do like neck to firm. I use that, that's from Revision. And then I do like, um, this as my body, uh, the Ulta 45 Arrow is great. You shake it and spray it and then you apply it to the areas and it has a lock on it. So if you don't open the lock, it's not gonna work. Let's see if I can get it to work. And then I apply it and, um, and I really recommend, of course for purposes for this video, I didn't do it, but um, I really recommend when you get up in the morning, put your sunblock on your body where you know it's gonna be exposed because I think once you get your clothes on, you're apprehensive about getting it um, on your clothes so get up there put it on before you have anything on and then start working on your face the other thing I'd like to mention as well is that I find we see a lot of skin cancers around the top of the hairline uh, the top of the forehead because we're again um, don't want to get it into our hair so just be careful with that of course wear a hat as well when you go out and for all you people that are hooked up or in your house just know that sun comes through windows so you should be wearing sunblock in your house as well even some lights may trigger things as well so uh, really wear that sunblock if you're not going to do anything but one thing wear, wear the sunblock and um the aerofatina which i forgot to tell you about that actually also can um, has been shown to help prevent skin cancers which use twice a day uh, those precancers called actinic keratosis so i really recommend that for my um, actinic keratosis patients as well and it does come in clear if you don't want the tint so thank you for listening. If you have any questions about any of these products, please be sure to call our office at 303-333-6060. There's something about talking into a mirror I don't know about. <laughs> um.